Kimchi. I'm a 31-year-old freelance web designer and digital marketer, and I've been doing it for the past six years. I grew up in New York City, but since COVID, I've been back to Taipei, where my family is from. My work is entirely remote, and it's given me the flexibility to live and travel as I wish. So I'm going to take you through my week of freelancing while living in Taipei. So let's dive right in. Today's Thursday, and we're going to start the day at Chunchou Shu Dian. It's located near the Zhongshan MRT station and is one of my favorite cafes to do work at because it's so spacious and, let's be honest, it's relatively close to where I live. I love that each floor has a different theme and that it's suited for different types of customers. This is their Shishi Li coffee, which is kind of like an espresso lemonade. So I first got into freelancing in 2018 when I was bartending in Nashville. My ex at the time was pretty judgmental about my career choices and that prompted me to look into more remote opportunities that I can do entirely online. I started with an unpaid internship for the social media freelancer who worked mostly in wellness and at that time I had experience as a yoga teacher and my bachelor's degree was in athletic training so my immersion in the industry provided an advantage to getting that position. Three months in, she started paying me for my work and that manager eventually scaled her business and now runs one of the agencies I'm still contracted to today. Around a year into my career, I moved back to New York and started applying on freelance websites like Upwork and Fiverr. Back then, the industry was nowhere near as competitive as it is now and I was able to land a few gigs. Some of those contracts were one-time projects, but a few of them also transformed into ongoing relationships. So now, most of my work comes from referrals or old clients that I've worked with before. I wrapped up my day at the cafe and then took a quick stroll around the neighborhood. The weather was super beautiful and it was nice to just unwind and get some physical activity in after a long day of sitting. This is my home setup. A Laptop is in front of me. I don't really have an ergonomic setup or a desktop or anything. This used to be my uncle's desk. So these are all of his books and just files from decades of living here. And um, while I've been here for almost three years now, it still definitely feels like I'm in a temporary space. It doesn't feel like it's necessarily my space because it is a family home. So I don't know like what is mine to move, what is mine to edit. Um, but for the time being, this is where we work. So this whole day, I've been working on building out the website for my new project called Homebound Taiwan, which is about my journey in Taiwan, basically. <laughs> um, just sharing that transition and then providing some destination guides and resources to moving here. So that's that's been going on, you know. Hopefully we're going to launch in a week or so, fingers crossed. But right now I'm just working on content and then of course building out this website and then maybe creating some social content as well. Yeah. Um, so currently sipping on red tea. Um, it is their so no sugar, no ice, <laughs> which is probably the, the most boring way to get one of these beverages, but um, it's pretty nice. So if you want something that has a good amount of caffeine, but isn't coffee, but is still tasty and fragrant, highly recommend this is from White Alley. So, guys, And we're gonna get to work. Hi, hello. So I am making my way over to the gym. It is 
Saturday evening. I spent my day working on the blog, writing a few articles. Um, there is one social post that I have to create for this yoga instructor, but we'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, I spent the day indoors, kind of watching Ozark, and then now I'm heading to the gym to work out because I really need to move a little. And yeah, my, my face is flashing because there's a car uh, with their hazards on. So yeah, I'll see you at the gym. Bye! As someone who has a background in exercise and sports medicine but now sits in front of a computer all day, I always make it a point to get a little daily movement in. Whether that's going to the gym, going for a hike, or practicing yoga at home, I find that getting connected with my body is an integral part of my well-being. So there's not much footage here because I wanted to respect other people's privacy, but I spent an hour at the gym and then went home to sleep. Good morning! Today we're heading to the temple. I did a little bit of writing this morning, just finishing up the blog post, and then I'll edit that social post that we mentioned yesterday. But for now, we're gonna go pray. And I'm not exactly sure what the day is and like what the occasion is, but apparently it happens every year. So we're gonna go do that, have some snacks. Keep you guys updated. That evening, I headed over to my partner's place in Tenshi. So if I were to get started as a freelance web designer or digital marketer today, here are the steps that I would take. Number one, identify your goal. So what is your ultimate goal with freelancing? Are you looking for more time and location flexibility? Do you want to test out and build new skills? Are you looking to build additional sources of income while you work your full-time job? Knowing what you want big picture can help you narrow down the specific roles and employment structures that work best for the lifestyle that you hope to achieve. Step two, identify the type of work that you want. First off, identify or build the skills that you need for the job, niche down, create an ideal client avatar, and set your services and pricing structure. Pretty straightforward, but having a clear idea of the roles that you want will help you save time on finding jobs. You can always pivot if nothing lines up, but have a clear vision to begin with. Step three, build out your website or portfolio. If you already have experience in what you're trying to do, add it to your website. If you're new, create mock projects just to give potential clients a taste for your aesthetic. Step four, get your first client. Arguably the hardest part. Begin by reaching out to your existing network, looking into online communities and Facebook groups, or even creating a portfolio on freelancing websites like Upwork or Fiverr. It's definitely hard to get the ball rolling when you have no experience, but let me know if you want a specific video detailing how to get clients from each of these sources and I can dive into more concrete tips. Step five, update your portfolio, get some testimonials, and then ask for referrals. From there, you can continue to build your brand to get more clients, or you can pitch some agencies if you want more consistent work. So thank you so much for following along, and let me know if there are other topics within this freelancing world that you want me to talk about in depth.